Hey yo ladies and gents, welcome back to another Asian robot video. I got a fresh haircut today, so I'm refilming this video um, on the newbie hammer build. So for those of you that want an easy hammer build, I'm actually gonna show you how to build this. And I'm also gonna show you how to prevent people from lying to you about the fact that they made the build themselves. Because a few people have been stealing my builds, I'm gonna show you how they do it and I'm gonna explain to you the difference, all right? Starting out first with the Pangar's Rampage, all right? You start off with your uh, lovely Knockout King, Parasitic Cell. You've got your Mighty Landbreaker right here, right? And the Extended Clip, okay? So what you'll do at that point is that you have your Iceborne Omni Cell, okay? You've got your Pangar Shine with a Zeal Cell, all right? Now, for those people that steal my builds, right? I'll show you how they do it, like I said. They change zeal to catalyst and then this one down here right instead of having the overpower cell they'll usually have like time weave leggings and they'll either put overpower in here or tenacious it's up to them but basically by having plus six catalyst in the build all right they'll pretend to make an op build that'll deal a lot of damage but basically you got a guzzle tonics like some hooker um you don't need that like literally this is how you can change this entire thing into a OP build with tonics, but that's not how we build things here. Uh, so you see anybody doing that shit, just literally raise your hand like this and just slap the shit out of them for uh, trying to imitate Macho Man, all right, because it's pointless. Um, but anyway, getting back to the real build now, all right, you've got your Zeal Cell in your Lantern, okay? You've got your Volcanic Helm with a Sturdy Cell. You've got your Dark Marrow from the Shroud with the Rage Cell. This is the, this is the most difficult thing to make in this build, but it's still pretty good. Uh, Boreal Might with a ten Overpower Cell, and you've got your Volcanic Treads with the Overpower Cell. Overall, this build will give you, and let me go through the perks right now, it will give you Knockout King plus 6 for faster stagger. You've got plus 6 Overpower. Once you've staggered a Behemoth, you're going to deal extra damage. Rage, so that when you do take damage, you know, you can hit them back harder. Uh, sturdy, to prevent you from taking any sort of uh, stagger. So, every five seconds, you're immune to a stagger from behemoth attack, which means you can just attack through the behemoth attacks, which is beautiful. Tenacious, uh, this gives you 2% bonus damage. With this build, you've got 1,700 hit points, so you actually end up with... Uh, you actually end up... Oh, sorry, you don't have 1,700. You've got 1,200. 24% bonus damage on this one. Parasitic uh, will help you delay damage that you receive and also give you lifesteal, which means even more sustain. And last but not least is zeal in your lantern. Now, like I said, if you want to turn this into an OP build, like a drug addict, all you got to do is change this to catalyst. This thing you want to put in the uh, time weave leggings and throw overpower or tenacious in there. All right, very simple to do that. Um, a lot of people use that to try and pretend like they've got a different build to me, but it's actually literally my build, so yeah. And the reason we don't use tonics is obviously to prevent uh, excessive farming. Uh, okay, now, we're gonna show off this build in an actual combat showcase. We're gonna go to the, uh, in fact, we can go to Thunderwatch because it's, you know, no point in fighting ice creatures for no reason. We'll go to Thunderwatch and go whack things. Uh, for those of you that don't want to see the combat showcase, all you got to do is like, share, and subscribe right now. You can send a tip via the link in the description of the video. You want to keep the channel running, you can become a channel member or send super thanks on YouTube. It's up to you how you want to help keep the channel running, but you know, if you decide to do that, thank you very much. If not, that's okay. Like, share, and subscribe. That helps a lot. Now, I always encourage people to watch the combat showcases because what these other videos do not offer to you is that they'll they'll cut out the section where they're drinking tonics like a drug addict and they'll show you some clips either that or they'll go in but they'll still cut that segment out and then they'll show you a combat showcase regardless uh, sort of like to imitate the macho man style this is not healthy because number one they're editing obviously to cut out the undesirable bits which they don't want to show you if you want a safe build always look out for these things number one they should be showing you loading screens why? Because if they change their build behind the scenes, you will never know. Number two, if they don't film it in one take and there's an editing cut in between, if they don't tell you what the cut is for, you can't really trust them. And they should actually show you the build after the cut to show that uh, they're doing the same thing. But again, Macho Man builds are trusted also because they don't rely on tonics. Um, and while it would technically deal more damage with tonics, all right, and that is fair to say, Quite frankly, do you really want to go and farm for hours on end? I mean, it's up to you, man. You want to do that, that's that's a you thing. All right. I don't recommend pushing uh, easy builds too far 
all right? You wanna go maybe four or five levels higher, but that's like the extreme upper end, okay? Uh, I'm gonna break that by doing the strike, which is six levels higher, but I really recommend killing behemoths about two to three levels higher for maximum effect and also maximum efficiency. Now, as always, we start out this build without uh, utilizing the, um, the uh, whole thing whereby, you know, I, I jump and do the... Uh, power up with the land break mighty land breaker the reason is because oops sorry that was a whiff on my part i misestimated the distance the reason is because you want either charge ammo before you even trigger this all right it helps you out tremendously to have either charge ammo obviously because you will dish out way more damage you also will notice that if you like well, well because you're stagger immune um if you swing you should be able to knock the creature down now that was a very unlucky series of events because it was rushing in between my strikes. Now when it comes and rushes for you, come on, come on. Over here, you little punk. Okay, sometimes it'll just be a little bitch, but whatever. You can basically tank through the rush and use that to uh, dish out extra damage. So never be shy about that, especially with strikes because they like to move around a lot. All right, and as long as you... Oh, my God. I really love how it, like, flies off into, like, some kind of distance. Listen, listen, Shrike. Can you not do that shit? Yeah, I got no time to waste with you, you stupid punk. All right, so even creatures about six levels higher aren't much of a challenge for you. All you got to do is just whack them down. But please, please, be careful with that. If you're not experienced with the hammer, please be cautious. That's all I ask of you. These builds are strong, but they're not designed to be infallible, invulnerable, or whatever, whatsoever. Also, is this thing just breathing on the ground? Jesus Christ, this hasn't been a proper fight from start to fucking finish. But it doesn't matter. Okay, come on. You can use either your Iceborne or your natural uh, swing to knock it down for interrupts, because don't forget, your Sturdy comes with a lot of perks. Alright, being able to tank through attacks, very beautiful. Now, that Shrike was a bit of a troublesome customer, but we're going to show you how we deal with a regular fight. Like maybe against a Charog. There's one over there. Okay, so we're going to fly over to him. And explain that his life is miserable. And that we dislike him. And that he, he smells like chicken salads. Okay, let's go. So usually he's ready for stagger. There we go. The uh, thingy exploded. And once your Pangar explodes, usually they'll be staggered and chilled out. Very useful with this build because you've also got Pangar Shine to help you deal extra damage. And honestly, against a creature whereby you uh, have the elemental advantage, such as Charog, you can dish out huge, huge damage. All right. <laughs> the only thing you got to be aware of is number one: uh, when does your mighty landbreaker end? Because that's a whole lot of extra damage you'll be missing. And be aware of when your rage triggers. Now, of course, you've got your whole plus six rage, so it will always be triggered as long as you take damage. But you don't want to be in a situation where you take too much damage and then die off. Okay. Um, that's about it for the newbie hammer build. Well, I shouldn't say newbie, I should call it easy hammer build. Um, please, feel, please do use it. It's very, very good, okay? It's very good if you don't have a lot of the end game stuff, all right? Um, it's very strong, very powerful, and very versatile, so don't hold back on using it, okay? At least until you get your end game stuff. All right, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you want to support the channel, you want to keep it running, you can send a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube, or you can become a channel member. All right, members get certain perks, so you should definitely check that out. Let's move over to the thank you scene. Here is October's top supporters, Bravo7910, Cranky D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer 43 Zavi Uzumaki, Alcorn0511, Alien Frost 80 Kazmanta, my lovely girl, Zach, NFG, Starbuzz, Lucifer, Evan Tao, X, Ashaz Garzi, and Rogue Assassin. But there's one more person to mention, and that is Poonie Puni, who is also on the throne of honor. Poonie Puni, you are the only fan right now. Thank you very much. JP Best at prestige level, Zach NFG at prestige level, thank you so much for your uh, blessings on me. And I hope you guys will continue to enjoy my videos, alright? I'll see you guys on the next one.